We then go add some conditional formatting. So we can hover over this column here and click there so that the whole column is highlighted. And we'll go to the home menu and do add conditional formatting. And we're going to add a data bar. And then we just need to click back on here and manage the rules. And we can see we can now edit that rule. And there's a couple of things I like to change. So first of all, um, we only want to show the bar so that's going to get rid of the numbers behind the scene. And then rather than have automatic minimum and maximum, I like to use percentile. And then for negative values, you click on here, I'll click on cell midpoint as the axis setting. And you're just going to apply that. And you can see now we're centered around the middle of the cell. And once we widen this, it gets wider or narrower. And because there's actually a number in that cell, we can now sort and filter on that cell. So we do this. That, for example, we're now sorting by variance as if we were sorting this column.